Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Outcast in Mars, which is a new game. It's on Steam and we're going to play it. We're going to we're going to play the game. Yeah, I'd love to start a new game. Let's get into it. Let's play some Outcast in Mars. Now, uh, the Steam page said it was an RPG and it was about some robots who had a zombie apocalypse. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I'm hoping that we get a bit of clarity. Oh, okay. So we're here. Right? All right, so what do we, what are we, what are we up to? What do we do? Is this a bad guy? Oh, it is a bad guy. Why, why was he waiting right outside the, the shuttle? Is this a bad guy as well? So we can, we can punch. Excellent. Oh my God, this is, yeah, get some, get some. Oh, we can block. Get some, get, come on. Uh, oh, he, did he dodge? No, he fell down. Why is it so noisy? It's very noisy in my earballs. Can we lock on or anything? Oh, we killed him. Good, finally. Okay, why is that rocket going? What, what are all these people doing here? Let's just go for a walk the other way. Can we, can we pick this up or? How do we? Who are they? Are these friends or? So these, are the, these guys are friendly, and everyone else is not friendly. Oh, here we go. Let's open a chest. What? Oh, we've got a sword now. All right, we're sorted up. These guys want to mess around. Mess around and find out. Aha! I can't see anything because the, the field of view on this is terrible. I would love to be able to change that, but that's okay. We don't need to. Oh, he's got a sword too. He's gonna he's gonna slash me up. Do I have a stamina bar or something? What's I don't know I don't I don't actually know what's going on. So I killed that guy with the sword. Is there another there was another guy, right? Here he is. There we go. Oh. Yeah, you want some? You want some? Get some! All right, so we can lock on with tab, I see. Souls are on the hollow cardio HD. The HD will take you to the planet Earth too, okay? Sure, this is so loud, oh my God. I'm gonna turn it down. I can tell you that whatever noise you're hearing in the recording, it's much louder in my earballs because um, I've got it turned down quite a lot for you guys. All right, oh, we, can, we can lock on. There we go, locking on makes it much easier, all right. Oh, and we picked up something finally. Well, I don't know. What, I don't know what those are. Uh, okay, cool. We don't. We don't need any health. Let's just go down the path that it seems to be leading us on. What is this? Pick it up with E. All right. So we can pick stuff up with E. Excellent. We'll pick that up as well. Whatever that is. I mean, what? That's, that's our home base. Oh, is that? That must be our destination. So we can crouch. We can dodge roll with Q. Oh, U is used item? Wow, that is just terrible mapping, but that's fine. Let's go kill this guy. I don't I don't know why we're killing this guy, but we are. We're killing him. Get some! You wanna mess around? I don't know what my I don't know what my teammates are doing. They they helped fight the, the first guy, and since then they've been coasting on their early wins. That's just I'm just appalled. Your mission is to access the Holocardio server, access one of the Mars facilities, find the correct passkey. Uh, not the access terminal. Okay. So can we go? I don't. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. Do we, well, let, let, let's fight this guy, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I like that we uh, heal to full health after a fight. That definitely makes this uh, much easier. Oop. Yeah, that's fine. So he died. Cool. So what is that? How do we? I don't. I don't know what we're doing here. Can. Nope. All right. So this isn't the right. This isn't the right place. Need a red key card to open. So we've got to go. Find a red key card. Uh. Okay. So what did it say? It said it said something about where to find it. I'm sure it did. 
Does it, do they spawn or something? Is it, uh, or do they, or are there a limited amount of them? Because if I if I have to keep killing them, I'm just gonna start avoiding them. Because if yeah, if I'm not getting XP, I'm not getting gold or anything. I'm just fighting these guys in this terrible view. Uh, we'll get that. All right, let's go. Let's go see what this says again. Um, brain is over the crater, not the access terminal. Is over the crater. So where's the crater? Why is everything vignetted? Um, is it? Oh, I pressed escape. Escape exited out. Of course it did. All <sighs> right. So we're gonna we're gonna go back into the game. I was just trying to get to a menu or something, and uh, that was my bad. I shouldn't have tried to do that. No. Oh, I I guess I do want to start a new game. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, so pressing escape uh, exits the game, which I guess is a design choice, technically, that uh, developer is welcome to make. Just got to fix that. And if I remember correctly, there's a baddie here that we have to fight. Yeah, he's right there. Cool, but I'm, I'm not going to bother because it didn't seem to do anything last time. Let's just go for a run. Let's go see what our home looks like. Like... Yeah, they don't follow, so they're just standing around. So, when I killed them all last time, I didn't have to. Like, one is heavy attack. But it doesn't have a, a visualization, right? Alright, well, let's open this chest here. Whatever. Okay. I don't, I don't know what we got out of that. Uh, what does it say? Beware of older models of robots. You are the latest generation model, but be careful anyway. Sure. I mean, I don't... There doesn't seem to be any reason to bother with, bother them. They don't bother me, I don't bother them. On the plus side, at least they don't have, uh, you know, T-posing lockstep AI that follows you around the map. Welcome to the Holocordio's brain. Do you hope to find the passkey in this building? Good luck. Uh, I guess? Okay, so the door is open. Great. Is that... Does that lead down? Is it glass? I don't. I don't actually know, man. I don't know what's going on. All right. Um. Got to be upstairs, right? Everything's always upstairs. Uh. Okay. So there's a there's a map. Oh, there's a. Right. So let's go back downstairs. Obviously, it wasn't that way. Oh, is there? There's more. There's more stuff. There's like uh, these things. I feel like I've seen these pod things in another game. So these mu this must be part of an asset pack. I feel like I s I've seen them in another like independent game. All right. Oh, oh, we're stuck. Okay. So where? I don't, I don't know which way we're going. We're going this way. This is this is the way we came in, isn't it? Well, that's the way we came in. I don't. Guys, I do not know where we are. I don't know what we're doing, but we're we're doing it well. I'm certain of that. Whatever it is that we're doing, we're doing it the right way. All right. Uh, forget the brain shape. You're facing a computer CPU. If you have obtained the passkey, insert it into the terminal above. Right. Oh, so we didn't. We haven't obtained the pa we haven't obtained the passkey. Right. So this is where we take the passkey, but we actually have to go over the. Uh, why are they shooting? What are they shooting at? They're just shooting into space. Um, I have to go over the crater to find the pass key. I think that's I think that's what it said. I think it said it's beyond the crater. It's not in the brain. You gotta find the pass key before you go to the brain. And we haven't done that. We failed the very first task we were given, and this is not a way out. Right. Alright, well, uh I would hate to leave it unresolved so i might fast forward i might fast forward from here um so you guys can see what happens when i do find the passkey uh i guess i don't find the passkey i'm i'm just doing that just doing that thing with my head just doing that yep and uh there's no way to oh i can look at my I can look at my inventory. Nice. Let's drop it. 
Oh, I pressed escape. Whoops, I pressed escape. All right. Well, I was going to fast forward, but instead we're going to go back in and we're going to um we're going to try it again and then I'll fast forward. All right. Well, it crashed again, so that was fun. I definitely wasn't expecting that. I was on a journey to the walls and the game crashed. So that's super exciting. Um we're going to try one more time. If it crashes again though, we're going straight to the description. So just expect that. Um, I probably won't give a running commentary here. It's just going to be more fast forwarding because, uh, I mean, what is there to say, man? The, the models are obviously pretty, they're, they're not well designed. Um, the game is pretty poor. Um, the most interesting thing about the, the game is the environment, the, uh, the Mars environment that you get to play on. Um, but I, uh, I would have to guess just stabbing in the dark that the environment is part of a pack. Yeah, I believe that that is part of a pack. Okay, so we're supposed to go beyond the crater. Let's go the other way. Oh, we can't go there. It stopped us. Um, we're supposed to go beyond the crater, so we're going to try and do that. So time to fast forward, guys. <laughs> Yep, so I'm fairly certain that I've played on this map before, on a different game that was about Mars, or something like that. I, I've definitely played on something that looked like this and had that uh, distant Mars in the background. I'm almost certain of it. So this must be an asset pack, um, and this is that makes this probably an asset flip. Um, that's just my, that's my guess there. Um, happy to be proven wrong or right. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I, I'm definitely getting vibes that I have played on this specific map, uh, previously. So, yeah, complete with the, uh, the world disappearing as you get closer and further away. I'm remembering it. I'm remembering. I don't remember what the game was that I played. I don't remember it, but, uh, I do remember playing it. And I remember it being almost identical to this. So we've reached the edge of the uh, the accomplishable map. The game said that we would find the pass key beyond the crater. We went past the biggest crater that there was, and now we're running along the edge. So I don't know, I don't know what it is that we were supposed to find. Uh, I, I'm, you know, I was hoping that maybe we'd find a better game over here somewhere. But uh, I've looked everywhere, and it's just a big barren patch of nothingness. That's what we're, uh, that's what we're enjoying is a, an... All right, so the game crashed again, um, which also took out my recorder, which is why I cut off in the middle of a sentence. So that's fun. Um, but anyways, Outcast in Mars. Two robots struggle to reverse a zombie apocalypse that has swept the human race from the Earth's surface. However, threat hides a terrible mystery in the most unlikely place in the solar system, the planet Mars. I feel like that's what a, you know, one of those chatbots would spit out. If you fed them a bunch of, uh, you know, just standard science fiction blurbs. Like, that's just kind of a word salad. Um, let's see, it costs $6.22, which is still too much for what you're getting. Um, we're looking at the gameplay trailer here. And apparently, they can't find the, the pass key either. Yeah, they, they're unable to find the pass key. So let's see, uh, a Hamel Robot Adventure introduction. Outcast, Outcast on Mars, except for it's Outcast in Mars, which is what it says on your stupid thing that you designed. But I guess it's called Outcast on Mars. Like that is just lazy, man. Like, I guess if you're asset flipping, who cares if the, you know, no time to go back into Publisher or Word or wherever you designed it um, to make the changes. Uh, let's see. The Hamel 3.7 model robot is activated on the surface of the planet Mars with the mission of finding the souls of all humans that have been transferred to the server host on the planet. Souls belong to users of the sinister no social network known as the Holocardio. Cordio. Holocardio update uploaded the souls of users connected to the network shortly before a zombie apocalypse occurred that killed... Oh my god. Nobody cares. Seriously, that is just a mess. 
The next chapter. So, you're already telling us about the next drilling in the brain. On planet Earth, two other robots struggle to reverse a zombie apocalypse. However, the machines can't imagine that behind the zombies there is a much greater threat. Such a threat hides a terrible mystery in the most unlikely place in the solar system, the planet Mars. Contrary to popular belief, they are not just on the surface of an arid planet. Something extremely unbelievable is about to be born there. Maybe a new home, or just a terrible asset flip game. Great. Open world. Mars 1 Earth. On Earth, the androids try to... Yeah, we've already read all that. Oh my god. No, it is a third-person game in the open world. You need to save the human race and discover the mysterious Colonel Sackless's plan. During the adventure, you will use your resources to su survive while searching for answers. This game will be updated every two months. In this first stage, an experienced player can easily complete the game in two hours. It's just bad. An experienced player? There's nothing to play. The... There's nothing here. There's no reason to engage with any of the content. There's no direction to it. No, it just seems like randomly thrown together. It's just... Uh, it's just a bunch of trash. Let's have a look at the uh, developer. N for Bio Limited. Yeah, any for Bio Animated. Oh, right. There we go. So, they've got a couple of other games. They made a game called Nosferatu's Butler. Which actually looks sort of interesting but there's only like the three screens there we've got street massacre which is a uh, beat em up looks like okay and then they they made a dlc for nosferatu's butler okay so when did that come out that came out on the 16th of january right okay so nosferatu's butler came out last year in october and then they put another game out in november and now they've dropped Outcast in Mars. I mean, Outcast on Mars, uh, which is the lovely game that we're currently playing. Let's look at this other developer, and they're just part of the same thing. So it's all all part of the same thing. So yeah, it's just I don't know why I don't know how I keep running into these. Um, for a long time there on Steam, there wasn't actually that big of a pool of these sort of asset flippy games, or at least I wasn't running across them, but like, since 2021 has started, since I've come back from my vacation, it seems like every other game, or every game, you know, including Galaxy 5, which I played last night, which was just trash, but like, I don't know, I don't even know which one of those is, which one of those is better, Galaxy 5 was just so pricey and bad and this one's not pricey but it's also bad and has somehow less content than galaxy 5 had which was almost nothing i don't know man it's you know comparing these is like looking at patties you know cow pats in a in a pasture and and deciding which one is the biggest it's like it doesn't matter they just both smell like cow crap so that's where we're at so i'm gonna leave it there Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below, all that kind of stuff. And uh, avoid the game. But if you do want to check it out on Steam, you can click on the link in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.